Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode I'm gonna show you uh, result of uh, two MakerBox samples I got the other day. The filaments I tested out was uh, land filament by 3D Fuel and Alga filament from Algix 3D. Uh, those two filaments uh, had a pretty easy uh, settings to to print. Uh, the land filament was uh, recommended printing temperature 180 to 210 degrees and I printed out with that filament at uh, 200, no, 185 degrees and 180 to to test out uh, stringing. I had a little bit of stringing. Uh, I reduced the temperature in one print to 180 and uh, still had a little bit of stringing but no, not too much but at that temperature uh, layer adhesion was not very good so uh, I had to increase the temperature again to get better layer ad adhesion. Uh, the Alka filament was also really easy to print with uh, even though uh, they have the recommended temperature on 175 to 190. Uh, uh, I printed that 175 and got uh, a little bit of stringing uh, even not at that temperature but uh, the Alka filament uh, didn't have any problem in layer adhesion so I'm going to show you uh, first a uh, few of the Alka prints I did so this was uh, the Omnom uh, model I printed and here you can see the, the stringing it's uh, very thin str uh, stringing and very easy to remove. Uh, I haven't put the heat gun on this model, but it should be no problem to, to remove this. But otherwise, uh, the printout came very well. Uh, there was no, no special problems uh, or settings I had to dial in, just uh, the recommended temperature on, on my normal PLA settings. Uh, I also printed out the, the maker coin and uh, on that I also had a tiny amount of stringing but uh, not so much uh, but even at 175 uh, the layer sticks very well together so uh, it's a pretty strong filament even though, though it is very low temperature while printing. Uh, I did some uh, tests with this model first to reduce the stringing and when I was printing the headless cat model uh, it got half headless because uh, I ran out of filament I already had wasted, uh, wasted uh, some filament on printing out one uh, copy of this uh, with a higher temperature but uh, on this print uh, it came out really well and, and uh, be beside the small amount of stringing uh, there's nothing to complain so I'm quite happy with with this filament uh, I haven't uh, uh, done any more testing but, uh, on this because this is only a small sample so but I got those prints and I have this maker coin that is is coming out very good so I'm, I'm happy with this filament the other filament the land filament um, came out really great it's uh, very dark black color and it looks really nice uh, uh, in this model I didn't recognize any any issues at all uh, there's no stringing visible uh, and it's very very good uh, print and this was uh, this was printed at 195 uh, when I printed the, the maker coin, I noticed a small stringing here in the in the head, but very very slight stringing, and, and here is there's a few strands of, of strings coming out, but nothing. Uh, that's a major issue. Uh, the layer adhesion is is not as good as the as the Alka filament, but uh, uh, in this model, I 
I printed out uh, in 180 degrees and I just for fun tried to find out if I could break the head of the cat and I could <laughs> so uh, at this temperature uh, maybe layer of is is not very very good I can easily break the model apart so uh, this filament might need more temperature uh, but uh, than the, the lowest temperature of 180 uh, but I made, made this maker coin that has no issues and so I get a good good copy of my maker coin with this filament uh, with just a slight stringing that I can easily remove but it's very dark and maybe difficult to, to show on the camera but uh, it's uh, quite good, good looking, and this filament was uh, was really easy. Just the temperature settings uh, I used to have my normal PLA, so there was not a, any issue. So this was my testing with the uh, Alka filament and the Land uh, filament. Uh, both, of, both of those filaments came out uh, really great and I didn't have any special problems dialing in the settings except maybe for the stringing on the Alka filament. Uh, I saw online people were talking about uh, this stringing uh, issue uh, also so it's uh, I guess a common issue with this filament but uh, it's easy to remove with a heat gun or, or just your fingers and pliers so it's not a, not a big problem so I'm quite happy with, a, with those filaments uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and it's just a short video on the two samples I got in the MakerBox I have uh, four more samples in the MakerBox to try out and I will continue doing those short videos on the filaments with those filaments uh, next week most likely so for now thank you for watching and see you next time